News at 11. The continued battle for the soul of the nation. That's how the White House described a primetime speech by President Joe Biden tonight. It is our top story at 11. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. The president delivered his speech in his hometown of Scranton as the state of Pennsylvania goes through a hotly contested Senate race. In many ways, it was a campaign style speech. President Joe Biden took aim at the far right portion of the Republican Party, calling out his predecessor by name and saying his followers pose a threat to the nation. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. History tells us the blind loyalty to a single leader and a willingness to engage in political violence is fatal to democracy. The speech came the same night a man was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his role in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. It is the biggest sentence handed down for any Capitol rioter so far. The president's speech comes as several key elections are set for this November, both here in Michigan and around the country. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with more analysis and what this means for the campaign trail. Josh. Sherry, one of the experts I spoke with tonight says it's significant that the president would make this type of speech amid ongoing investigations from the January 6th committee and the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago. President Biden has taken some criticism about, you know, doing some partisan action that um, has, you know, not necessarily brought the country together. So with just over two months uh, until the midterm elections, certainly something that he wants to do. And Aaron Cole with the University of Michigan says concern about democracy is one of the newest issues on voters' minds as the November election quickly approaches. A CBS News poll shows that 7 out of 10 Americans think democracy and the rule of law are under threat. Cole says earlier this year, gas prices and inflation were top issues. You know, after the Dobbs abortion decision, obviously abortion, seeing some of the results of these special elections, um, and the poll that you alluded to show that these issues are the forefront, and if they are, they are in the forefront of voters' minds in the midterms. The Democrats are going to have a chance of potentially retaining the House and maybe even picking up a seat in the Senate or two. President Joe Biden, in his primetime speech tonight, mentioned a summer of legislative victories, touting new gun control measures, climate policies, and efforts to curb health care costs. Call says it was a reminder to voters ahead of the election. And I think the team, given the the recent legislative success, the potential for more in the, the, the coming weeks, uh, want to put him in front of the cameras to take credit for those things, showing that he's still um, you know, very uh, in charge of uh, the country and the party. As elections for both the governor's office, secretary of state and attorney general heat up in Michigan, Cole says presidential popularity can matter for local candidates. I think we'll see if we have candidates, uh, especially Governor Whitmer, um, you know, be seen with uh, President Biden, maybe have him in town campaigning, uh, shows that he's becoming more popular and he could be very beneficial in the election. Call says President Biden is already set to do some campaigning for candidates in Pennsylvania in the next week. That state has also seen several contentious races ahead of November. Sherry?